Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, we will try to understand how important is master data for supply chain management. This video is following an article I published this summer. I have added the link in the description. Using an example of a global supply chain network, we will see what could be the impact of bad master data management on your end-to-end -end supply chain operations. Let's take the example of the global supply chain network of a closing retailer. You have stores all around the world that are replenished by regional and global warehouses, storing goods produced in factories. Planners send replenishment orders for warehouses and delivery orders for stores. Here we will focus on the store delivery mainly. The question is, what could be the impact on this overall end-to-end -end operation if you have a best master data management? In your product portfolio, you have two types of SKUs. You have the carryovers, so these are the SKUs that are sold every year. And you have the seasonal products that are released every season. You have two seasons per year, spring, summer and fall, winter. A product that starts as a seasonal product can become a carryover later. During the creation process, master data specialists are entering product-related information into the ERP. You have product-related information like net weight, dimensions, or specific points like dangerous goods, for instance. You have also packaging information like the gross weight product with packaging, dimensions of the packaging, or labeling language. You add the information related to the handling units, how many pieces you have per box, how many boxes you have per pallet. And finally, you have information related to purchasing cost, selling price, storage listing locations. So where are you storing your goods in which warehouses or store listing in which store are you going to sell this product? This list is not exhaustive. Your company may have different information required. How to put this information in your system? Your master data management team is following a specific process. Item data are sent by the procurement team to the MDM specialist following a standard Excel template. MDM specialists are checking the templates. They are checking if they are correct and they perform random checks to ensure the validity of the information. For instance, they check if the weights or dimensions are reasonable or they compare them with similar items. Then, MDM specialists create the items in the ERP. They list them in the location where they are sold and stored. And finally, your data is ready to be used by the team. First, the logistic team can receive the products in warehouses and stores. Merchandising team can follow the sales and stock levels in stores. Procurement team can say purchase orders to the suppliers. An analytics team can include these new items in their reports. Now, your item can be purchased, transferred, stored in your warehouses and sold in your stores. What can go wrong? Let's suppose that you have issues during your item creation process. What could be the impact on your supply chain operations? It can start for the, during the procurement process when you are creating purchase orders. Then it can be followed by issues during transportation when you have to face the custom clearance. Of course, transportation planning can be impacted if you have wrong weight or wrong volumes. In the warehouse also, if you are using tools like automated quantity check using a scale. And finally, it will impact your reporting and analytics capability. This one can be extremely strategic for the group. Issues can start when the procurement team will create the first purchase order in the system. After the MDM team has confirmed the item creation, the colleagues from procurement can create the first purchase order to be sent to the supplier. They only need to enter the supplier code, the item code, the delivery location and the number of items. Normally, the system is filling automatically the rest of the purchase order information. Problem! The unit price on the PO is wrong because of a mistake during the mastery data entry. Therefore, the PO is refused by the supplier. You need to correct the mistakes manually and reorder. The delivery will be delayed. Here, you will lose time and it can be super impactful if you are if you have to prepare a new collection launch, for instance. Issues can continue during transportation with the custom clearance process. 
So let's imagine that you are delivering your orders via air freight or sea freight. So you need to go through custom clearance process to deliver your shipments to the local warehouses. The problem? You have issues in the custom clearance documentation that is using the master data management. Therefore, the clearance is delayed and you need to pay penalties and additional administrative fees. So you will lose time and you will lose money with potential fines. Then you have issues for the last mile daily transportation planning. After the, the local warehouse is preparing orders for stored deliveries, the transportation team needs to estimate the number of trucks two days in advance. For this, they are using the weight and the volumes of each item. Problem? The dimension of the cartons in the master data are wrong because of, of a misalignment between master data and procurement team. Therefore, the capacity of the trucks requested to the carrier has been underestimated. So part of your shipment will be delivered with delay and you need to find additional trucks. So you have an impact on the time, you will lose time, but also money because you need to uh, source these additional trucks. And then you have issues in the warehouse for the weight checking for express delivery invoicing. Your e-commerce orders are delivered using an expert courier that is invoicing by weight. In your packing station, you have a scale used for Quantity check. So using the total weight, you can ensure that the picking team has put the right items in the parcel. And you have also express delivery invoicing. Connected to their system, you can directly invoice the, ship the shipment without manual intervention. The problem is, the unit weight of some items have not been updated in the master data. Therefore, the scale is alerting for missing quantities, even if it's correct and it will create some bottlenecks in the process. Moreover, the courier company is complaining because of the weight gaps and may apply penalties. So at the end, you will lose time because of the bottleneck and you may also lose money because you will have to pay penalties to the express company. And finally, it can impact your analytics and reporting capabilities. So let's take the example of a report asked by the top management. They would like you to build reports per of sales per product category, like bags, ready-to-wear, accessories. This report can be used to build sales and operating planning, SNOP, drive the long-term strategy, or get some market insights. A problem? A large number of items have missing product category in the master data. Therefore, you'll have several hundred items that are not linked to any category. So you cannot say that your sales report is complete. The impact can be huge for the key strategic reports that will be used for the long-term strategy. They will lose in consistency and people may not trust the results. To conclude, we have started to sense the impact of master data process issues on your whole supply chain. The list is not exhaustive and may be different in your organization, but the financial losses can be exponential, especially if you consider penalties, fines, for custom clearance or late deliveries. Moreover, strategic reporting can be impacted. Eventually, it can become a major bottleneck for your supply chain transformation and continuous improvement initiatives. I hope this video gave you enough insight on how a good data master data management can be crucial for your organization. If you have questions, feel free to share them in the comment section.